Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Back in February 2021, TRDO conducted mid-end trial of vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile or VLSR SAM missile. The test was carried out to demonstrate the vertical launch capability as part of its mid-end launch campaign and missile intercepted simulated targets with pinpoint accuracy. The missile was tested for minimum and maximum ranges. On 7th December 2021 again, DRDO has conducted second test of this missile. The VLSR SAM was fired from launch pad number 3 of integrated test range ITR at Chandipur in Balasore at 3 pm. Now as per the latest update, DRDO and Indian Navy has successfully flight tested VLSR SAM today from an Indian naval ship at ITR Chandipur. The significance of this test is that it is for the first time the missile was tested from Indian Navy warship which means that its integration with naval vessel is successful and we can expect a couple of more trials before it's inducted into the service. As per plan, the missile is expected to enter service by 2023. This VLSR SAM will be integrated with smaller surface vessels of Indian Navy and will replace Barak 1 legacy SAM system. It will also be integrated with multiple Indian naval platforms like Project 28 class corvettes, next generation missile vessel and next generation corvettes. The missile is meant for neutralizing various aerial threats at close ranges including sea skimming targets. It can identify, track, engage and destroy target with very high kill probability. It has a strike range of about 40 kilometers. The VLSR SAM is going to be an advanced air defense system that will provide a single integrated solution for multiple aerial threats from different ranges. Since it is going to be a vertical launch system, it will ensure 360 degree of interception. Each vertical launch unit will be able to house 8 heavily modified quick reaction SAMs to engage incoming supersonic projectiles. It will provide point and area defense against various aerial targets such as fighter jets, aircrafts, unmanned aerial vehicles. It is integrated with an active high-end radio frequency seeker which provides better interception of targets with low radar cross sections and high maneuverability. It is going to have a conformal S-band with two-way full duplex data link antenna. The data link is used to simultaneously receive mid-course updates on target's position and send missile telemetry data to the ship. Having data link makes the missile more accurate and jam-proof. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.